<sighs> it blew right through us. 50 cal, rockets, didn't do a thing. Where's the rest of your platoon? Wasted, Sarge. And we will be too, sir, if we don't get the hell out of here. You hit Marine. N no sir. Then listen up. Usually the good Lord works in mysterious ways, but not today. This here is 66 tons of straight up, H. East viewing, divine intervention. If God is love, then you can call me Cupid. What about that scarab? We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master Chief. He'll know what to do. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. Sup, guys. Hokey Bird here, bringing you the Noob's Guide to Legendary for the third mission in the Halo 2 campaign, Metropolis. Okay, so, load up your Marines and begin your rampage. Now, something you need to know about the tank is that it is much more accurate than the Halo 1 tank. It is also a lot weaker. Howsomever, the machine gun is far more accurate and far more useful. You'll see me use it a lot. So, my general strategy here um, throughout the entire mission is to keep the Marines alive and to use them. Um, on Legendary, you really need to utilize that Marine with a rocket launcher. The only other threat is the Wraith, and trust me, it's a pain in the ass. I was never able to do this my first try. I would always get hit by the Wraith, and that would kill the Marines. If the Marines die for whatever reason, you're going to find one of the areas called This Town Ain't Big Enough for the Two of Us to be Sniper Hell. So, what you want to do here is just keep moving uh, so that you don't get shot by the Wraith. And then don't let any of the ghosts get behind you. They'll kill you very, very quickly. You can try to take the tank out at range, but your mileage will vary on that one. Sometimes you'll take it out pretty easily at range, and other times... You won't be able to land a damn shot. So it gets more and more difficult to avoid the tank's mortar the closer you get to it. And so this is borderline suicide, what I'm doing right here. The only reason I got this close is because I thought the tank was dead. So, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh shit, tank's not dead. So that was kind of panic mode. And I'm showing this tank exactly what I think of it. I hate that fucking tank. So once you destroy the tank and all the ghosts, you'll get your first checkpoint of the mission. So what you want to do is just keep driving forward, and up here on the left, there will be another marine with a rocket launcher that'll hop on your tank, and he's extremely useful. So, first thing you want to do is look to your right and shoot the guns off this phantom. Then look to your left and shoot down this banshee. And then look to your left again and shoot down this phantom. Well, not shoot it down, but you need to shoot the wraith off of it. And I just got it there at the last moment. And then look back, and then there's going to be another banshee. Banshees are no fun in the tank. They're nearly impossible to hit. You have to lead your shot and they will withstand more than one tank shot. I hate Banshees. Something I probably should mention here is that if you just want to get through the level and you don't actually want to fight everything, there's a Warthog back at the beginning of the mission 
where you would normally hop in the tank. Load up the marines and then drive by everything. If you do want to fight everything, I wouldn't recommend the Warthog because it's extremely difficult to fight the Banshees and the Warthog. So here, you're just going to continue your rampage in the tank. Now you've got two marines with rocket launchers, one on each side. So I like to give one marine a shot and then flip my tank around and give the other marine a shot while the one marine is reloading. And just continue my rampage against the ghosts. Once again, not letting any ghosts get behind me. This part should be a cakewalk since you don't have to worry about a raid like you did for the first part. Quite a welcome party. Now if this were a movie, this is when the character would say something along the lines of, this is where the fun begins. Except there is no fun to be had here. There are four banshees that you have to take out in the tank. And you can barely see them. And they're so far away that you can barely shoot them. And if you get any closer than this, they will insta-kill you. The only advice I can give here is stay back, fire that machine gun non-stop, because that'll hit them more than your tank shot will, and you have to lead your target. Other than that, good luck. I hate that part. When you move forward, there's going to be a bunch of ghosts that attack. I believe there's three of them here, but you want to stay back because after you take out the ghosts, two more banshees will spawn, and if you're too far forward, they will insta-kill you, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. there's the two more banshees so as soon as I saw them I'm backing up as quickly as I can to get as far away as I can from them so that they won't shoot me out of the tank and kill my marines that was kind of lucky that I took them out that quickly I've had much more trouble with that part but, once the Banshees are dead, now this becomes fun. Uh, the only thing left in the area is two wraiths. What you want to do is drive up to about here, and then just maneuver back and forth, and basically make it such that they won't know where to fire. And then your Marines with the rocket launchers will help too. Once you destroy both tanks, then you're done. So, give yourself a pat on the back, take a breather, and enjoy the drive.
There's gonna be two shield jackals on that wall over there, so I just like to take them out with the tank. Alright, let's settle in! It's tight quarters on the other side, sir. Use this. No, it is not tight quarters on the other side. You need a sniper rifle, not a shotgun. And luckily, there is an unused beam rifle right here. So this is one of my favorite fights in the mission, and it plays out the exact same way if you know what you're doing. You want to take out this group of elites and grunts with the beam rifle, and the marines with the rocket launchers will help too. And then you want to look over there and snipe the jackal sniper. Next, what you want to do is pull out your battle rifle, walk in front of this truck, and a jackal sniper will appear over there. Shoot him in the head with a battle rifle. Next, you want to look over here with the beam rifle, and shoot the elite, snipe him in two shots, and then mop up the grunts with the beam rifle as well. Our turn now, man. Hey, get ready now. I'm in a lot of pain here. Next, what I do is I give the lady that I traded the shotgun with... I replace her SMG with this beam rifle, makes her about a thousand times more useful. Then I'll hop up on these boxes, switch to plasma grenades, and stick these two cloaked elites. Next what I'll do is I'll pick up the beam rifle from the jackal sniper that I killed, and snipe the elites and grunts coming from around the corner, or what I did this time is I'll uh, swap out the beam rifle for a plasma pistol instead and that makes it much easier to kill the elite with the sword. The last thing you want to do is kill the sniper in there and then pick up an unused beam rifle from the crate over there. And if you noticed, I managed to save all five marines. <laughs> you know why God loves Marines, right? Now this part is normally sniper is hell, over? but because I have five Marines with me and two of them have rocket launchers, the Marines will deal with the snipers for me. So the first thing you want to do is hit the sniper in the back, and then snipe the grunt off the plasma turret, Ready? and then snipe the two elites and the jackal sniper over there. Next, I'll pick up the sniper rifle over here, and then I'll kill any of the elites that are left. Then I'll hop down and get in the Gauss Warthog. Could use you on the gun, Chief. The gun? I don't think so. I'm driving. And as you can hear above, the Marines are doing a commendable job of dealing with the 15 or so Jackal snipers. Howsome ever, down here, this marine will not get in the Warthog, and thanks to him, I lost the two marines with the rocket launchers. Well that took longer than it should have, but once he's in, he'll do a pretty good job killing the snipers, and then there's going to be two ghosts over here, let him deal with those. The Gauss Cannon is fantastic against vehicles, and once the ghosts are down, I'll drive up here. Bungie was pretty determined not to make this fight any fun, and if you push up past where the snipers spawn, they'll just spawn behind you in the tube that you came out of when you entered the area. And they'll appear at the end of the bridge. So. What you want to do is park the Warthog here, and then let your Marine with the Gauss Cannon just shoot them all. The Marine with the Beam Rifle also does a pretty good job, but I lost both the Rocket Launcher Marines. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to set up Rocket Hog. So what I'm doing 
is giving rocket launchers to both marines. And then when I get in the Warthog, hopefully one of the marines with the rocket launcher will get in with me. There we go. Now I've got Rocket Hog set up. The first thing you want to do when you enter this area is hop out and snipe the two Jackal Snipers. And then get back in quickly because the Wraith is going to send a mortar your way and you need to be in the Warthog and out of there before it lands. But now with the two Jackal Snipers down, this should be a pretty easy fight because you have Rocket Hog in a Gauss Warthog. So the only threat is the Wraith. And you can take it down pretty quickly. Now once you take down the Wraith and two Ghosts, there's going to be four more Ghosts. That was the first two. Now I'm waiting for the second two. They'll enter the area in the same place. There they are. And I love Rocket Hog. The last thing I'll do before I leave the area is go back here and grab the rocket launcher. So this part's pretty easy since you've got Rocket Hog and a Gauss Warthog. Um, the only thing you need to be careful of is that you may destroy your friendly Warthog with the Rocket Hog. What you want to do is come over here, pull out your sniper rifle, and then snipe the two Jackal Snipers. This time you don't even have to be quick about it, nor do you have to land headshots. You're too far away and they won't snipe you back. Number of Marines trapped in that building, Chief. Concentrate on the Wraiths. They're the biggest threat. Actually, Cortana, they're the only threat. So, there's going to be three Wraiths. There's going to be two there, and then one that enters after you kill the first one. Take them all out in your Rocket Hog. Another possible strategy here is to hijack a Wraith. It's kind of risky. You may get killed by one of the other raids. Then once the first two raids are dead, a phantom will move into position. You can actually stay under it and kill both ghosts as well as all the infantry it would drop off with your rocket hog and it'll just fly away. Sir, Corporal Perez, A Company, CP's this way. The lieutenant got hit as soon as we dropped in. Who's in charge now, Corporal? Uh, Sergeant Banks, ma'am. He's up top. Come on, I'll show you. When I asked for reinforcements, I didn't think they'd send a spark. We got trouble. Permission to bitch. I don't think it's stopping. Put your heads down. That thing is really starting to piss me off. Marines, time to kill us a scarab.
So, pull out your rocket launcher, grab some ammo as well as ammo for your sniper rifle, and then shoot the waves of Covenant on the Scarab. You need to lead your target, so take note of where I'm aiming and where the rocket ends up hitting. And then there's tons and tons of rocket launcher ammo scattered at various places along this walkway. At some point, two jackal snipers are going to appear. Um, if you let them, they'll kill you in one shot. But I generally like to take them out with the rocket launcher or the sniper rifle. And the rocket launcher is a lot easier than the sniper rifle because they're moving. There's more ammo up here. And that was incredible. Usually I cannot kill that Spec Ops Elite because of how strong his shields are and because he's on a moving target, but I basically killed all of the waves of Covenant that would come out and attack. Now something I tried that I had no success with was to arm the Marines with the sniper rifle and rocket launcher it really doesn't work. They'll just blow themselves up with the rocket and won't really use the sniper rifle effectively. We can't go any further this way. We have it trapped. So here, I like to grab a shotgun and wipe out all the rest of the Covenant on the deck. Hmm. Apparently I didn't stick that elite. Oh well. So, pull out the rocket launcher, come down here, shoot the grunt, and then immediately retreat up to the surface. The elite will come to investigate, so shoot him twice with the rocket launcher, and if you get close to him while his shield is down, he'll get angry at you and pull out an energy sword, Swap out the shotgun for the energy sword. Now that the Ultra and the Grunts are all dead, all that's left are the two pilots. You can stick one, shoot a rocket at the other, and then mop both of them up with the energy sword. the chief and return to an amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, commander. I'll vector two heavies for star side intercept. Bam! Slip space rupture off the target's bow. It's going to jump inside the city. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. Ma'am, without a destination solution... We are not losing that ship. 